While LTE opened the doors to massive data consumption, it was primarily a means of communication, delivering services such as voice and mobile broadband. 5G, on the other hand, provides not only more advanced technologies that can enable much higher data rates and lower latency, but also new use cases that can ultimately lead to new business opportunities. There are two approaches that operators can take to provide 5G services to their customers. One is non-standalone mode, which can support rapid 5G service deployment by leveraging existing LTE infrastructures. And with standalone architecture, on the other hand, operators can fully provide all of the 5G-specific services, such as URLLC and network slicing. Last July, Samsung and KT launched the first commercial 5G SA network in Korea, turning on next-generation services in the country. This achievement follows recent collaboration on the deployment of Korea's first 5G SA and NSA Common Core in the operator's commercial network. And in September, this Common Core was recognized as the best 5G core network technology in the 5G World Awards. In order to build truly service-oriented 5G standalone networks, Samsung 5G Core adopts a cloud-native structure. Its design is based on containers and microservices to create modular network functions that can be easily introduced on diverse cloud platforms. In addition, by using automated lifecycle management, 5G core network functions can be quickly created, installed, and scaled. This automation enables better operational efficiency for operators managing a 5G core network. With the 5G era that is coming into full force, Samsung 5G Core will continue to pioneer the 5G innovations for operators.